cut the violence is the message that some community leaders are trying to spread on this Martin Luther King Day, and they're doing it through a unique project, as News 8's Leah Landa reports. Through this door, it may look like just another day at the barber shop, but it's not. Kids here aren't just getting a haircut, they're getting a lesson in life. I got tired of braiding and it was difficult to manage and um, I heard it was a free haircut and also pamphlets and things to learn, so here I am. Venus Davis is a single mom raising five kids. Today she brought one of her sons to the New Creations Barbershop for his first haircut in three years. I need my haircut. And these barbers aren't just cutting hair, they are trying to cut the violence in the community. The initiative kicked off today as part of the Thou Shall Not Kill campaign. County Legislator Willie Lightfoot and City Councilman Adam McFadden started the program. We want children to know that in our community, barbershops are safe havens and they're going to be places where we can uh, exchange information for parents and for, for young people. And while local leader and licensed barber Willie Lightfoot says the service is free, he does expect something in return, an honest conversation. We've asked them, have they been a part of any violence recently? I asked him the same question. He said no, but he said there is a lot of fighting at uh, his school. You know, we asked him why some of the kids are saying there's normally one kid that the other kids are following. And it's no coincidence Cut the Violence kicked off on this holiday. Customers at the salon were encouraged to remember the message of peace from Martin Luther King Jr. You always hold your head up. Keep your head up. Be proud. Advice moms like Davis want their kids to take with them. It's good to know that the community do care. And McFadden and Lightfoot say they will ask different barbershops to sponsor Cut the Violence once a month. Leolando, News 8 Now.